welcome to Heart of the Home, Away from Home. Jerry Ballou is with me and Miss Carolyn Turley. Now, Jerry, normally where would we be this time of year? Alaska. Alaska. Oh Alaska. Why are we not in Alaska? Our I jobs? Know. Yeah, getting in the way of our fun. Our jobs. <laughs> we don't, you know, that's kind of, you've got a kid in college. I've got this extra job now at North Georgia now today. And that's how I met Miss Carolyn Turley. Her husband, Bob, was a guest on North Georgia Now Today. Mm -hmm. And through Bob, I met you and found out that you were the designer of all the homes you've done. Mm -hmm. This has to be an amazing journey to do this. Tell me about this house. Oh, it's wonderful. It's, I feel like I've won the lottery, but basically it is a log home. It's from Idaho. They're all um, uh, pine trees, ponderosa pine and uh, it's totally opposite to what we usually do in the city. And when I told Jerry, we're going up to the Turley cabin to shoot. Now Jerry and I were in a cabin in Alaska last year, 10 of us traveled together, mm -hmm. and the cabin was a little crowded and we became really close friends during this trip. Here, did you know we spent the night here last night? Oh, shit. Did you, did you even notice us? Did you even hear us? You can't even tell how many floors are on here, a couple? Mm, all three. Spread out, mm -hmm. spread out in a, an awesome view of the lake from everywhere. Yes. Now, speaking of the view of the lake, I want you to go hang out with your sweet husband, Bob. I want you to talk talk about finance. Get him upbeat. Get him, mm -hmm. hey, we got Anything in numbers. Anything he'll, in he numbers, he'll be happy. Yep. And, yep. And, and don't tell him the number of people who will be here tomorrow because we're going to have a little birthday celebration oh, yeah, for him. Sweet. We're going to do that. But today, we're going to make y'all a quick, quick recipe, and it's called Sweet Tart. I'm sweet, Jerry's tart. <laughs> <laughs> now you know in the next segment you may get to see, you know what his reputation is around town, don't you? Mm, you All tell me. the women are dying to see this man come in and make a delivery. Have you seen his legs? This one? Oh, oh my I was looking goodness, at his honey. This is, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and in the next segment you'll get to see his legs. Okay. We're going to make a simple, simple recipe. We're going to share it with the audience. Then we're going to come out and let you and Bob have a little bite for breakfast. So we're going to go right now to some shots of your house. That sounds good to We've me. We've got photos of the lake. We have some photos of different rooms and the art you've done here and the beautiful trees. So we're going to share that with the audience. Y'all sit back mm -hmm. and enjoy this. Okay. Thank you, Sherry. Welcome back. Weren't those beautiful shots of the property and the lake and that gorgeous tree? Now, Jerry, so far so good, huh? Is this yes. a beautiful place? Lovely. Now, you're peeling apples from Mercier's Orchard, and you told me something. You've never been there. I've never been there. Well, Jerry Ballou, I'm going to whip you. <laughs> there is no excuse for ever being in North Georgia and not checking out our friends at Mercier's Orchard. Now, we're making a dessert called Sweet Tart, and you can do it for dessert, you can do it for breakfast. We're going to do it and take it out to Bob and Carolyn on the deck. Mm -hmm. This is just crescent rolls, and okay. you unroll the crescent rolls. I sprayed the pan with ham. Okay. And real hard crust to make, isn't it? Yeah. You, know, you see how hard I worked on this. And that's the key to when you come to the mountains, you come to the country, you hang out at the lake, you don't want to do things that are complicated, and you don't want to do things that make your life hard. Not make it all. simple. Keep make it, it easy. simple. And take it easy, you know. Is there a that's song a called Take It Easy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think there is. I think there is. Well, that's now, just the way I like to cook cream too. cheese. Honey, you and I both love cream cheese. Yes. Cream cheese. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, and cream cheese makes you really, really happy. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Now, we're using the Granny Smith apples. And that's why this has the name Sweet Tart, because the apples are a little bit tart. Okay. And I'm going to use cinnamon and sugar that's going to make it sweet. So, mm. so far we have the crescent rolls the crescent and the cream cheese. And then I'm going to teach you. This little grater is like my favorite friend. I use it making pear relish. I use it making everything. But it is awesome. You're just going to grate apples and put on top of this. Okay. And then I'm going to coat it with sugar and cinnamon. That's the sweet part. That's why I get the sweet part. I'm the sweet part of this deal. You're the cute, handsome, sexy, great looking, really good guy. And I'm just the sweet part, so that's okay. Now, I want you to just grate the apples all across the top of it. Okay. 
This is the perfect texture for this, and I just, this is kind of trial and error, uh -huh. but I did it several times, and uh, actually Melton Campbell and I did this recipe out in Pigeon Forge one year, and it disappeared quickly, 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 quickly. And it's easy to make. Usually you can yeah. make two or three of these and a little square, but it's a little bit sweet because we're going to add a little bit of frosting to it. Uh -huh. But these Granny Smith apples are tart, so it's a little, you know, you got your apple a day, you got your sugar, you got your dairy because you got your cream cheese. See Just probably take all four of those. Yeah. That cream I cheese like smells good. Oh, I love this grater. Everybody should have one of these. They're awesome. Now, I do things using whatever bounty's available. Like if there are black walnuts available, I use those if the apples are in. And the apples, Mercier's is covered up with apples right now. Let me tell you what they're really covered up with. Fried apple pie. Oh my. Let me tell you. Now, they're just almost sinful. But, and I found you can eat two before you even slow down, so be careful. <laughs> my favorite though is their sweet potato pie. Wow. Sweet potato. They do good. a fried sweet potato pie. It is awesome. They also do a good blackberry pie, and you can buy the whole pies, or you can buy a fried blackberry pie, too. Now, see how that texture is just about right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to cook it a little bit slower than normal, okay. and uh, it gives the apple a little bit of time to bubble and just blend with the cream cheese. Sounds delicious. And this is so simple, and everybody keeps crescent rolls in their fridge. It's one of those things that you just you have to have. Gotta have crescent Very rolls. Very quick and easy too. It is. You know, it's like when <coughs> you want just like a pastry for breakfast. Uh -huh. uh, very quick, light. And you could literally have guests come in. Carolyn didn't know we were here, so we snuck in. And we can just do this. And you know, the good thing about this kitchen, honey, it is well equipped. It is. This we is found beautiful. everything we needed. And this is right down the road from Mercier's. We're only about 15 miles out in the country. Two miles down a dirt road, but was it not a beautiful drive? Gorgeous. Now, last time we left here, we saw nine deer. Wow. Nine deer. Do you have a gun with you today? <laughs> Not today. Jerry, oh, it's bow season. Do you have a bow with you? No. Back here, nobody would hear the gunshot. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think the park ranger watches Heart of the Home. Maybe he does. <laughs> Maybe he does. <laughs> Maybe he does. Since I've taken that downtown route, I've found that Speaking of deer everybody. and moose. Now, speaking of deer and moose, have you seen the moose hanging over the fireplace here? Isn't that gorgeous? My gosh, you talk about breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh. That would feed Pharaoh's army. I wonder what they did with that meat. I just don't see Carolyn making moose burgers. What do you think? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't so. know. I don't know. It's delicious meat, though. Oh, yeah. it is. You know, when we were in Alaska, we did that steak and gravy using moose. Remember that? Yeah. Everybody loved that recipe, and that's when we made Mayfield biscuits. We took the Mayfield milk with us to Alaska. It was awesome. You know, people kind of thought we were crazy traveling on a plane with milk, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's enough of the apple. Now, okay. I've got cinnamon and sugar together, okay. and I'm going to say the best tool in cooking, your hands, right, Jerry? Yes, ma'am. We're going to just cover it with cinnamon and sugar. Wow, that smells good. Oh, doesn't it smell good? That and awesome. the, the little apples, they are a little bit tart, so thus goes the name Sweet Tart. And I'm a little bit sweet, you're a little bit tart, you're really precious. Good dad, doing a good job raising some boys, and you are now... Um, how many more years to retirement? Three, uh, I'm hoping. And then does that mean we find a bed and breakfast in Alaska and open it? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm ready, Jerry. Me I too. am so ready. Me too. I'm sorry. I want to work at ETC about five more years, and then I want to retire, and I want to go to the um, mountains, and I want to live up there in a bed and breakfast. I think it would just be awesome. Now, this is one secret you don't do. You don't take the crust out and let it get warm because <laughs> it just did a number on me. Yes. And it true. shouldn't have, but we're going to make it right. It's going to be okay. This is something you don't do. You never take the crust out and let it get warm, but we've been... Busy. We've been busy. We've been doing some other things, and it is going to make a mess, but it's coming on down. There you go. Yeah. There you go. And we're going to cover it up. We're going to close it up, and when we put icing on it, nobody will know. Don't tell any of the guests we did that. Okay, shh. This is a secret. Now we're going to take a break and we're going to stick this in the oven. We're going to cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. And then we're going to ice it when it comes out. Nobody's going to know that that ends. Shh, don't tell anybody. I okay. won't tell so. And in cooking, you just, you know, a recipe is only a beginning. So yes, there you go. We'll be back in just a minute, guys. Hang around. Welcome back, guys. What a beautiful day. Jerry, Wonderful. talking about beautiful. Now, 
honey, the last time we did this recipe, you caught me the salmon in the Kenai River. I did. Jerry, this was caught at the grocery store. You gotta improvise. You gotta improvise. But we could have flown up to Alaska and just fished one day. Just I, one day. I agree. I but agree. this is great looking salmon. Yes, and it, it, is. It, it smells wonderful. And Thank if we you. hadn't told our guest, nobody would know nobody that we didn't bring known. this in from Alaska. Now talking about Alaska, I understand that the moose hanging over the fireplace, was it killed by Governor Sarah Palin? That's the rumor. And that's the rumor, and it was 3,500 pounds. It was a big boy. Like yeah. It was a big boy, like she might be a good girl. <laughs> now tell me the ingredients we've got going on right now. Okay, we have our minced garlic. Two cloves of garlic. Two to three, depending on your taste. Well, I can tell you right now, there will be no dating tonight. There will <laughs> be no even talking closely to your friends. This is pretty stout. Well, it mellows out once you get the fish in. Okay, and onions. And onions. You will mix up your, your, okay. your, your onions. And then we have Woo! two eight ounce uh, cream cheese. Okay, and these we use the whipped cream cheese. Yes. Because we like, make it simple, make, make it, it easy, and, and, and let's do something. It's not, we don't want to complicate people's lives. This nope. is so easy. What did it take, 15 minutes to do the salmon? About. Now tell me what's on, on the, the salmon. Side. Tell me again. Um, if I don't have time to smoke any salmon, uh, uh -huh. what you can do is you can put it in the grill. Um, I do minced garlic, liquid smoke, some Worcestershire, uh -huh. uh, a little bit of pepper, and uh -huh. sea salt. Put it I in love there sea salt. Do you know when I started using that? In Alaska, about two years ago, I forgot to pack salt. And a guy who was staying in the cabins where we were said, I have some, and he came back and handed me sea salt. I Oh, it's wonderful. I've never used it. I Good love stuff. it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. I've got onions and garlic going on and cream cheese. What are okay. you going to do now? Now we're going to put in our salmon. Now this is filleted and we trust that they got the bones out. Yes. Oh man. This smells so good. And you know, the guests are beginning to arrive and everybody's bringing a little special something. We're going to have some veggies. We've got some cookies. We're going to share that recipe with folks. But you know, we all have learned working, staying busy, doing the kids, doing the grandkids. Keep it simple. Keep yes, it simple. very. You can show up and have a great afternoon. Now, the folks that had the advantage here, the Merciers, all they have to do is walk in and say, I need 100 fried pies to go. So <laughs> is that fair? I don't think so. Oh man, this smells phenomenal. And you know, the first time I had this was our trip to Alaska. And I, ooh, I can't believe I'm going to admit this, but I usually use canned salmon. And you taught me to cook with fresh. So thank you very much. Fresh is so much better. I love being oh, able to take. It smells great. And get my fish. And, and we've got salmon. a tray. I see somebody just came in with a tray of cheese and crackers. Will that awesome. go great with this? Yes. Man. Ooh, it's smelling good. Now, normally, would we have let this fish cool? Yes, you need to uh, let it cool down a little mm -hmm. bit because then what happens is it, <coughs> it melts up your cream cheese. Right. I'm just going to see our consistency. But we're going to stick it in the fridge and let it yeah. go back to cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, get our consistency. Smells wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Do you remember we had 35 people in the cabin when we did this before? Uh-huh. And I kept saying, Jerry, they'll never eat all that. In about 15 minutes, it, it was, was gone. gone. It was gone. That was a great trip. We met people from everywhere, didn't we? Many different countries, uh, right. just, just all over. And, and um, it was funny, it was up here, and we ran into those folks that were Ohio, from Cincinnati. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was like blown away. And you're from? Uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> what about that? Yeah. What about that? Isn't that amazing? Well, that's one thing about cooking and sharing recipes. Your mom taught you to cook. Yes. And I said, I didn't know your mama, but she had to be an awesome lady. Because anybody who turns out the kind of boy she did, now I've met how many of your brothers? Uh, you've met them all. Yeah. They're all great cooks. They're, They're good uh, cooks and yes it reflects are. your mom. So, yeah. now did she say come in here and cook or did you just want to be with her because she was fun to hang out with? Uh, a little of both. A little of both. We, uh, you know, would take turns, uh, the younger boys and stuff, especially we would be in there helping chop stuff and fix, get, get everything ready for mm -hmm. her. And she would be talking to us. And it was fun just sharing the time with her. Right. Right. So it was a good and time. for my birthday last year, you made me a German chocolate cake, yes, and it was your mom's recipe. Yes, ma'am. That was so cool. That was so cool. Well, this is going to be so phenomenal. We're going to get the other things ready, and we're going to invite folks to come and hang out with us. We're going to give folks the cookie recipe too, so I don't want them to go away 
This is cookie, and it has a lot of fruits in it, a lot of good things for you, some grain in it, some oatmeal. Awesome. And it's one of those things, if you're traveling and you're going up to the lake, you can you can still eat well. We've got salmon. We've yep. got a little cream cheese. That didn't hurt too bad, did it? Uh, nah, not bad at all. But um, we're going to have some broccoli and some veggies, and just, you know, do something simple, do something easy. And now, if it were perfect, I would have a spinach salad here, because, you know, I am the queen of spinach. Yes. My cheeks aren't green, are they? No. No. Well, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to be assembling all our food, and we're going to be sharing this great cookie recipe with you. So hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back, Jerry. The salmon's in the fridge. It's chilling. It'll be ready to serve in an hour or so. Yep. The sweet tart is out of the oven. And, and smells good. Smells delicious. good. When you take it out, you let it sit a few minutes so it's not completely like 375, 85 degrees when you're putting the uh -huh. frosting on it. But you do want the frosting to melt because that's part of the um, idea. It's just really warm and sweet. And you know, on cool fall mornings up at the lake, this is going to be phenomenal. And it's yes. so simple, it's so easy. Now, I've done it with peaches, uh -huh. I've done it with blackberries, and I've done it with apples. But I think everybody's favorite, we are an apple country. Yep. So when you come to Fannin County, you better stop and get you a bag of apples at Mercier's. About 12 or 15 pies, and I think it's in order to get some donuts because <laughs> those donuts are pretty good too. Uh -huh. So. And we're going to talk a little bit later about um, Savannah Cinnamon. I make an apple cider drink wow. using Savannah Cinnamon. Have you ever had that at the shop? I've made it there before. Uh, yes, I have. You use um, just the cheapest apple juice or go by and get a true gallon of the Mercier's cider. Mm -hmm. And then you just warm it and add the Savannah Cinnamon to it. It is phenomenal. Wow. It is phenomenal. Now, I think while we're waiting on guests, you and I can cut a little bit of this and go out and hang out with Bob and Carolyn on the porch. You know, what a miserable morning. You know, it's, it's fall, take, it? it's 74 degrees, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, That's rough hard to life, take. it's a rough life, but you know, somebody's gotta do it. And uh, I think they're gonna enjoy this. What do you think about that peach tea Miss Carolyn made us? Wonderful, I love it. Isn't it phenomenal? Yes. Now this is a little sweet, it's a little tart because of the apples. Let me throw you up a piece. Okay. We'll put a couple on there, and we will go sit down and hang out with them. This is so simple, and it is dirt, dirt cheap. Yeah. I mean, literally. You know, you could right. go to a bakery, and you could buy these foo, foo things, or you could show up with this warm. The only thing I see wrong with this is every time I've made it, it disappears so fast. I've never tried it cold. I don't know what it would taste like cold. I'm hmm. not sure. I'm not sure either. Let's do one more of those. Mm -mm -mm. What's the best tool in cooking? The fingers. Fingers. Your fingers. You want to get that one up for me? Sure. Now we used Granny Smith apples, crescent yes. rolls, cream cheese, and we used the whipped cream cheese. Go ahead and get that one. Okay. And we're going to serve this warm. And honestly, I don't know what it would taste like, but if you had some left over, I've never had any left over. You could microwave it for just a second. Yep. You could do that. We're going to go out and sit down with Bob and Carolyn and enjoy the day and wait for the guests to arrive. And when we come back, we'll have the goodies everybody's bringing. We're going to have some veggies, something good for us. We're going to have the salmon dip, so hang around, guys. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Heart of the Home. Jerry, what an awesome day. Wonderful. Now, we have decided, we've agreed to disagree. We've gathered Republicans and Democrats, and we're here at Bob Turley's home. Miss Carolyn welcomed us in. This has been an awesome, awesome day. And we're going to share this family recipe. Have you tasted these yet? I have not, but I'm done. Well, honey, it is an old family recipe. It's Becky's adaption from Gr Grandma Post Cookies. Wow. We're going to try these. These are full of fruit, full of oatmeal, and at your age, Bob, you need yeah, all the roughage you can get. <laughs> you bet your life. Well, we're going to share these cookies with everybody, but more than that, we want to share friendship, fellowship, get together, hang out with your friends, do something that means something special to you by just gathering together and, and spend time together. We normally would have been in Alaska. So we're going to say, <clears throat> from the Republicans in the crowd, <laughs> we do love we do love our Governor Sarah Palin, and we will be voting for her. Now some of us will not be voting for her, so just keep in mind you can get along, you can be friends. It doesn't matter what your politics are. Hang out, enjoy each other's life, and remember, this is we are all so blessed just to be in America. Fly your flag, everybody. Fly a flag. Get out everybody, and vote. show up and vote. Please exercise your right to vote. It's right. so important. It is so important. Right now, we're going to go to one of my favorite things, some gospel music. 
Now we know this area is full of gospel music. I don't know if we're going to go to bluegrass or if we're going to go to the Promise Quartet. Maybe one of each. What about that? When you chose to live here, you didn't know you were in the hub of gospel country. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> That land. Come on, let's go to that land where milk, where milk and, and honey flow. flow. Come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. It's a better, it's a better land I know. Well, abound, bounding hearts, hearts will make us start. We're trusting, we're trusting in, in our God. God. Come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. All aboard, all aboard. Let's go, well, to let's that go land. to that land. Come on, let's go to that where land. the milk, where milk and honey flow. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come it's a better, it's a better land I know. What a bounding hearts will make us start. We're trusting, we're trusting in our God. God. Come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. All aboard, all aboard. Let's go to that land. Well, there'll be no tears of sorrow, no more troubles oh, in that fire. For every day will be Sunday, and that city so bright and fair. Well, we'll walk with all of the angels all around oh, the great, great throne. Start. We're trusting. We're trusting in our God. God. Come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. All aboard, all aboard. Let's go, let's go. All aboard. Where milk and honey flow. All aboard. It's better than oh, I know. Let's go to that land. Come on, let's go to that land. Where milk, where milk and, and honey flow. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a better, it's a better yeah. land I know. Well, abounding hearts will make a start. We're trusting. We're No. 